Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. <clears throat> Happy birthday. It is Capricorn's birthday month. This is your January 2019 reading. We're also coming into a new moon, so I seem to be connecting really good with cycles right now, so we're going to start this cycle off. Um, this is a channeled reading, so and it is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences and leave what does not resonate. But let's see what's going on with you. I just would like a card for the overall energy for Capricorn this January. Fire Guardian, ignite your passions. So this is the overall energy for this month. Let's find it right here. Connect with your desires. The sparks could lead to something beautiful. I'm going to finish reading it because this is a new deck that I got. Um, and I'm really Okay. It says you are being guided by your angels to connect with powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait. Like, I'm getting some information. It's just kind of like, because I get some of it's talking about that relationship passion, but other, I get like it's a purposeful passion. Like, um, uh, like a new direction in other aspects of your life. But it is very primal, so whatever it is, Capricorn, it's very much in this realm. It's in the earth realm, the material world realm. And I'm also, like, I'm getting, I'm getting shown three. So it's almost like, um, for some, this fire guardian is basically... An alarm clock to wake um, some Capricorns, some of you Capricorns, up. Kind of like, okay, um, you're more powerful than you've been living. You're like, it's almost like it's it's time. Like somebody's like realized, like, holy crap, do you know what this Capricorn can do? Let's wake them up and make them aware of it. Okay, so in that case, like that fire, that fire guardian is going to be there to keep you warm, to keep you comforted, to constantly give you like little encouraging thoughts and visions to keep you going. Because when you first wake up, it's kind of a pain in the butt process because you got to release everything that no longer works for you. And that can be extremely difficult, especially since from birth, it, everything's been programmed to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then for the other, like the other little energy that I'm getting with Capricorn with this is that last year, 2018, was the year that you were basically woken up and it was kind of a crazy, um, 
I mean, well, you were in the process of letting go all that didn't serve. So now, now it's almost like you're coming into a, um, a peaceful time, but there's that fire guardian to shed a light on everything that you have taken apart. And so now you're able to go, this I love, this needs to go, I want some more of this kind of, um, reorganizing, repurging, deep, deep cleaning, but it's more of a restful, peaceful time. It's kind of like, um, not, I don't want to say it's not a job, but it's, it, it feels more like this is something that you have been wanting to do for a while. And now you have the chance and the opportunity, opportunity to do it. And it's going to be actually quite, pleasurable is what I'm getting and then there are those that kind of like I'm getting and they're showing it to me kind of like kind of like years like or 15 minute intervals like you know wake up this group in 15 minutes this group gets woken up 15 minutes after them you know and so the other one, oh, it's kind of good too because you can see you see how he's got that triangle there so you know newly awakened just did a bunch like just finished doing the morning routine thing and then there's this one and um, the top one and the top one is for the Capricorns for you Capricorns that have um, woken up prior to No oh, crap, we just the year the year before. So it's almost like um you woke up, you had your rest time, right? Where you're like get rid of this, more of this, and now it's it's kind of like um go time is what I'm hearing and it's it's kinda of like what I'm being told is it's like a, a process of like there's this excitement, but you don't know what's coming, but it's like you're being talked to and guided to. So that way, when those doors open and you walk out, you're going to automatically be able to spot your fire guardian in which direction you're going to go. I sure hope that made sense. Let's find out what's going on. That is that one really wanted to talk. Innocence card, and that's actually the current energy that you're holding. So that's kind of, that's really beautiful actually, because it's like spiritually, our guides and angels are always trying to get us to that place of childhood innocence, because we are, you know, the children. So it's asking questions, exploring everything, want to learn everything that you can. So wherever, whatever stage you are with, you know, in your um, personal growth and your personal evolution with your fire guardian, it's very, it's almost like um, it's triggered you into a, a, a childhood awe. Um, it's a really good energy to be in because it pushes your, it's easier to learn your lessons. It's easier to remember who you are. It's easier to identify your gifts and your purpose when you're in this childhood innocence energy. Because you think about it, children, like if it interests them, they hold on to it. And if like they have no interest in it, it's like it's not even there for them. It just kind of passes right through them. And that's the energy that you're supposed to embody. So that way the what's useful to you can stay, but you pay no mind to what is not useful. So if you were wondering, like, oh, should I do anything? Do I have to do anything? Do I need to make any? Like, no, you're really in the right energy. Like, you're beautifully, like, in 
really good harmony. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, like I said, and this is the new, this is the thought process. Um, this is the air, you know, your thoughts as they come and go, but also what is new. And it is this harmony and it, it's, this harmony comes in different stages too. It's like learning how to play one instrument and then you learn how to play another instrument and then you learn how to play another instrument. And so it starts off with like a single harmony at first, but then other instruments come into play and all of a sudden you're building like a symphony, right? And that's kind of, don't worry about like all you all all I'm hearing to tell you is like you're in the perfect energy you're embodying the perfect energy of that innocence childhood I want to learn 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 and I want to go 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 remember to do that for what rings true like it will like you will feel it here and it'll be here so it'll be easy it's almost like they're connected you know like magnets but if um make sure it's yours and yours alone you don't want it you know what doesn't interest you what's not meant for you won't stick and so no matter how much you try to make it stick it won't stick and all you're doing is wasting your energy and the stuff that is yours can be sitting in the back kind of going like are you going to stop playing with that so I can finally get in there because that's my spot like what the hell are you doing kind of thing that's kind of what I'm kind of what I'm being shown um so so right now just like think of yourself as a like a magnet and if it comes in it sticks go with it if it comes and it's not sticking don't try to like find another place for it it's it's almost like look at yourself everything rotates around you everything's pulling towards you which is also where that fire guardian comes in and that's where like the kind of ah ah aspect of it comes in because it's like that fire gir fire guardian ignites anything like it It'll burn it up before it gets to you. Okay, yeah. Our higher true self, your higher true self Capricorn is saying release, release. Don't try to hold on into anything right now. Like this is basically an observation time. You can imagine yourself sitting at a table and however this resonates for you right but it's like you're building a model and it's a smaller scale than what you're building but you're still like oh you got all these pieces and you're finalizing everything and it's like you have a team there your spirits your angels your guardians they're all there right and anytime you're like i need more of these they're running to get you more of these right um but if they're going, if you see something being like, if it's going out of the picture, let it go out of the picture. Like if you, if it's really meant to be there, trust me, it's coming, it's going to come right back. It's just, you're in the process of mastering your passions. Okay, so... The tree, the guardian that's in your south, this is in your fire position. So you got the fire guardian, right? But then in your fire position, you have tree and you have grounding. Um, so yeah, okay, so it's kind of like stay grounded, right? Make sure you swift changes are really coming in all right and it's there's the energies that are everything that's shifting and coming in it's it's already done it's almost it's it's like it's already universally there it's happening think of it like a hurricane you can't stop for a, a hurricane or i think i read somewhere where you can you just have to have a lot of guns and a lot of bullets and fire like 24 hours non-stop i think is what i read I'm not sure, but like look at it kind of as um, storms coming in. The storm is coming in. Like it's, you can't, like, 
nope, it's got to go around us because I said it can't come, like the storm is coming. But this is in a beautiful sense because whatever it is that you have done, whether it was been like, wake me up now, or you got woken up and you did all that work, or, you know, you've been woken up and you're staying committed and you're staying devoted to yourself and to your personal growth. Like, it is, it is done. It's almost kind of like you mastered that next instrument, right? And now everything is starting to play together. And it's kind of like you have to make sure you stay grounded. Like, make sure... Make... It's almost, it's almost like everything, all the swift changes, because you got, okay, so there's, in the north, you got this iceberg, you got this submerged. Now, this is also talking about, like, this process that you have just gone through, right? And it was a lot of faith, a, a lot of hope went into it, because it, you really couldn't see, I knew it was there. You really couldn't see. Everything was foggy. You really couldn't see. So there was a lot of, a lot of faith. All right. Now this part is coming to the end, but what is submerged is fixing to come up, right? And staying grounded, staying present. Whenever that shifting energy comes, like just, it's it's like I'm being shown like to plant yourself but you don't even have to plant yourself so if you like to be outside like just stand there and allow like whoo give it a chance you know for your initial like the wind just blew so you or the wind just really picked up and blowing so it's kind of like getting your your feet right but I'm also showing like you can hold on to a rail there's it's it's almost like for some reason I'm being told like make physical contact, physically hold on to something, but it's not, it's not a person. So whatever it is that it is coming, it's almost like it's going to be very powerful. It's going to be, it's going to affect your body itself. And so it's, it's like grounding. It's like grabbing onto something so that energy can quickly get grounded so it doesn't overwhelm you. Because... The advice cards that we got for from our father energy and the mother energy and then all the other spirits that are here to assist us we got the lightning for the father the power card we got the volcano volatile or volatility uh, yeah for the mother and then we got the tsunami the wake-up call Okay, now with all of this going on, and they're not even speaking to me separately right now, they're kind of speaking to me as just like one. And that's where I'm being told that this this grounding tree comes in. Because it's almost like a beautiful, like a rare event is what I'm being told. It's like this powerful thunderstorm coming in with the explosion of the volcano and then you have the tsunami okay so the biggest thing that they need that that they would like for you to know is that this is not harmful to you as long as you don't like this all of this change is for is for you like this is sweeping like if you have done a lot of internal work new thought patterns new awareness of things right and it was all of this integration and then this guy is like it's it's almost like um like, if you look at it, I'm, this is how they're explaining it to me. If you look at it like a school. Okay, look at you inside the school, and there's a lot of stuff happening, right? But then the, 
the energies in charge, the principal, you know, all of them. It's like this is what's coming for the energies that have intentionally come at you with the aspect of harm or taking your will, like not giving you free will. It's it's kind of um it's kind of um okay bear with me because what I'm being shown is like okay so you're in the school and there was all these energies going against you right and they were mean and they were very pained energies as well whether this be a person um, an actual like business entity or something but I get that this is just kind of like a bigger like it's bigger than um, it's it's like an all life encompassing thing is what I'm getting Capricorn okay so all this time is going on, right? And you got like the father energy and the mother energy, the principal and all the ones that are in control of the school, right? And they're seeing this go on and on and on. But they saw the growth in you too. So it was kind of like, it's kind of like something was put in to plan without your awareness of it because you started doing all this growth right so you made all this growth even with this other energy um and now it's time for like this field day is what i'm being shown there's this field day right and they have designed it they have designed it in a way that you can only get through it if you go through it with the right intentions right if you're only going through it with this innocent, childlike, um, wanting to know why, 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 why is this happening? Why did that happen? Why would they want to do that? Why have they done that? Kind of, it was very curious. It was questions asked for an understanding point of view, okay? So now it's time to run, like do this field day. You're going to pass through it beautifully. Like, that's all you need to focus on. <laughs> Any energies that are coming through it with harmful intention, with altering intention, with sabotaging freedom, with sabotaging free will, um, untruthful actions, those are the ones that are going to get caught up in the this energy and it's a beautiful thing because it's it's like a lesson that's what you need to know it's it's not anything that's going to like destroy destroy but it is to learn a lesson it is trying to understand because it's like they're showing me like a field day in an obstacle course right but it's not an obstacle course for you Capricorn it's like I can see it from two different perspectives and for you it's it's like going out one door and being told if you walk over there you know that's where lunch is being served and so it's like a beautiful like little walk you know um there's clouds in the sky, but the sun's out too, and the weather's nice, and there's a light breeze, and lunch is all your favorite things. And that's how I'm being shown from your perspective. Now, from the other perspective, it looks like, it looks like hell. Like all of a sudden, like opening up that door and saying, going over there, because that's where lunch is being served, and it's like a, a 10 mile parkour course set up it's it 
maybe that's one of the other messages. Like, it's going to be very effortless for you to get through. It's the other energies that are going to really take you by surprise and shock you. Yeah, because it is done. It is done. So, just... Remember, if you need to grab on to something while everything is happening, grab on to something because this is, I don't know what you guys, I don't know what you have coming for you, Capricorn, or what's there for you, but it is, it is really different. It's going to be extremely different than anything you have. experienced and and what I'm being told is that you've had experiences before but they were very like minimum it's gonna it's almost like you're gonna have to adapt to the the energy of this abundance it's gonna take you out because it's like you're used to it coming in and then going away rather quickly. It's not something that integrated itself into your daily life all the time. It is something, it's well, this abundance, this change is it's not something that's going to leave you. It's it's like it's gonna be something that you you've tried, like you can it's almost like you're gonna recognize that there's an unlimited supply of it within yourself so it's like the you you give it away differently than you've given it away before but it just keeps coming oh i hope that makes sense because it's really got me tongue twisted do we have any more messages Okay, so integrating, powerful, powerful integrating, powerful integrating, ooh, Capricorn, happy birthday, like there are some major presents coming for you, abundance, like this is an amazing reading, focus on yourself, focus on yourself, love you guys.